have a certain level of sympathy for Said Ben Rama. Don't get me wrong, I think he's been awful this season. Absolutely awful. At bang average at best, and that's if I'm being kind. However, it's never easy looking at someone struggling, looking at someone suffering. And I think to see him fall from grace, and he has fallen from grace since last season, is not a nice thing to see. He was, I'm going to call him the unsung hero of Prague. And when I say the unsung one, he went under the radar. Who got all the attention? It was Jared Bowen because he scored, he scored the Hollywood goal, didn't he? He scored the goal at the end of the game, which won the cup. Lovely pass from Lucas Pakatar. Bowen, well, he wasn't, he's, well, he's Pakatar now. Back then, it was a lovely pass from Lucas Paqueta. Beautiful. Uh, Bowen scored the goal. Uh, lots of attention upon uh, both of those players. And of course, on Declan Rice, that, that was the story as well. He lifted the trophy, first trophy in 43 years. Uh, Declan Rice about to leave. Lots and lots of stuff went on. But there was another hero, and it was the unsung hero of Saeed Sa Sa Ben Rama, who obviously uh, called as a cucumber, dispatched a penalty. Uh, you know, we will reflect back on that in 20, 30 years' time as West Ham fans. And Saeed Ben Rama will be viewed far more favourably in the future th than he probably is now. But it's been a fall from grace. He, he won the shirt, didn't he? He won... He won the position. When I say won the shirt, I don't... He got a bit more on the shirt, you know, because some wages would be nice and a little bonus. But he won the right to be first choice on the left wing last season. He finally got there. Moyes finally trusted him. He's had a bit of a fall from grace from that point. He's now struggling at West Ham. He's a substitute. There was a point this season where he should have been chosen as a first choice left winger and, he, and David Moyes chose Pablo Fornells. He's gone from first choice to third choice, you could argue. Um, so I, I felt sorry for him for that. It's clearly getting to him because he has had a bit of an altercation with his manager um, Algeria played, this is a weird one, Algeria played the United Arab Emirates in Egypt. Don't, don't, don't know why. Don't, I haven't got a clue. I'm not even going to get into it, right? So I don't know. Um, he got substituted. Basically, his manager grabbed him really quite forcefully. It was quite, it was quite aggressive, actually, um, by the touchline. Now, I don't think Ben Rama's innocent, but we'll get to that in just a second. But he's, he's, he's having a bad time, Said. He's having a bad, bad time. Now, last week, because there's obviously a two-week international break at the moment. Last week, I almost did a little feature on the news roundups about a player called Islam Soleimani, who is his compatriot, and had a go at Ben Rama publicly as well. I thought it was really weird. And, and I was going to bring it up because there's this guy, Soleimani. You'll you remember him. He played, um, well, he played for Leicester City, but you won't just remember him for that. He was the original Yosef and Nesri. He was the guy every transfer window would be linked to. West Ham are about to make a bid uh, for striker Islam Slimani. Right? It, it never happened, but he was probably a lost in history. will never happen, but it, it was used to every transfer window. You could set your clock by it. Um, but the reason, it made me laugh because he kept on referring to himself in the third person. Not Ben Rama, Slimani. He'd gone full Zlatan Ibrahimovic, right? But he was offended. I mean, very, very offended because... Because Saeed Ben Rama dared to ask to take a penalty. Um, I think he might have picked up the ball or something like that. You've, se you've seen this sequence of events happen in numerous football matches any time you've watched football. The designated penalty takers out, that's Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez wasn't playing in, in the game. And there's some confusion over who's going to take the penalty. We've seen it at West Ham numerous times. Um, Saeed Ben Rama went to pick up the ball. Slomani went over and said, no, no, you don't. I, I, I take this anyway. It wasn't, it wasn't enough for Slomani to take the penalty. He basically had to slag him off in the press afterwards. Slomani went in, prover, uh, proverbial, uh, metaphorically speaking, Slomani went in two-footed on Ben Rama after the game. So I demand him respect, his lack of respect. He showed me lack of respect. It was amazing, amazing outburst, constantly referring to himself as, as Slomani. He so, showed Slomani no respect. <laughs> Whatever, mate. Get over yourself. Um, I, I mean, you know, and Ben Rama's a really, really good penalty taker. Ice, ice cold penalty taker. Ice in his blood, absolutely. And what was, I think he, Slomani was saying something like, everybody knows that, that when Mahrez is out, Slomani takes the penalties. He, this is Slomani talking. Everyone knows Slomani takes the penalties. And he started saying, it's respect. I demand respect. And the really amusing thing was, and the thing that really caught my attention, is that at the point where he was demanding respect, he turned around and said, I am Slomani. I play in Brazil. It's not like I play in Qatar or anything like that. So at the, the irony would have been lost on him. At the very point where he was demanding respect, he was disrespectful to Qatari football. Hey, who knows? Anyway, 
Um, but don't get me wrong, I think the standard in Brazil is going to be higher than the standard in Qatar, but don't demand respect and then be disrespectful, is my point. Anyway, I just thought it was overly sensitive. I felt a little bit sorry for, I thought he was dug out. I thought, you know, there was a bit too much pressure on Saeed Ben Rahman. I thought he's having a bit of a bad time, really. And then so fast forward uh, to, I don't know whether it was, whatever, Monday, Tuesday, whenever it was, start of this week, uh, Ben Rama gets substituted by his manager. Now, a weird thing happened. I wasn't entirely sure what happened. It's it suggested that Ben Rama snubbed him. He snubbed the manager. So the manager's about to take Ben Rama off. Ben Rama's walking towards the touchline. When I first saw it, it didn't look like the manager had held up to shake Ben Rama's hand, because that's what's told the press. He went to shake Ben Rama's hand, Ben Rama snubbed him. It, it didn't look like that. It looks like one of those awkward moments. Um, <laughs> you know, I saw my... I saw my son do it recently. Um, he, he went in, he went, he, I saw all his mates, I think they, one of them went in for a fist bump and the other one went in for a high five. It was a bit, oh, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, well, you know, paper, uh, paper covers rock. Whatever, whatever was going to go on there, it, it was a bit of a mishmash. And I, and I thought that sort of thing happened. And clearly the coach, the manager felt a bit awkward because rather than shake his hand, as Murray's walked past, he sort of tried to give him a, a pat on the back. Watch the footage yourself. I can't include it in here because we're getting trouble. But at some point between that pat on the back and him walking another half step, Ben Rama, the manager grabbed him like that and really squared up to him. He looked like he was about to go. Honestly, he looked like he was about to go. And I think at that point, he thought, oh, all the cameras are on me. I, I, I can't lump Saeed. I'm going to have to wait until later. Right. Or whatever the case may be. He calmed down is my point. I'm not suggesting he was going to punch him later. But it looked aggressive. It looked aggressive. Same thing. I thought, all right, mate, calm down. Bloody hell. You know, I thought it was very, very sensitive. And, and I felt for Saeed Ben Rama. I thought, you know, his manager's been overly sensitive and his, his teammate's been overly sensitive. Ben Rama's no angel. Ben Rama can walk off with a strop. We've seen him do it to David Moyes before. Why always me? But you know what? I've got no allegiance to... Um, to the Algeria manager or, or Islam Samani. My allegiance as a West Ham fan is to Saeed Ben Rama. And I, and I felt sorry for him. I really did. And I just feel he's having a bit of a hard time at the moment. I do feel massively sorry for him to go from almost like the hero of Prague to third choice winger. Uh, you know, it's it's a shame. It's a shame. And, and I think if you're going to feel that... And he, he must have done. You know, you read some of those reports. He's not going to feel like his teammates or his manager. Or, you know, he's not going to feel good about going away with the national team at the moment. And the irony is they got obviously that competition, the African Cup of Nations in, um, in January. So it, things aren't good for him. I think he was probably on a bit of a downer anyway. Uh, ultimately, I, I think this is his last season at West Ham. And I feel a bit bad for him. The truth of the matter is, and I don't feel nice saying it, he's not good enough for West Ham anymore. And he's not. But he's a good guy. I remember when he left Brentford, he gave his loyalty bonus to all the staff at Brentford and then some to the local hospital. He's a good guy. He's always available to the fans. Um, I think his family, you know, always go and, and, and they, they mix with the fans and everything. He's, he's a good guy. He's a good egg. He's like Lanzini, right? I, feel, I feel, do feel a little bit bad for him, but I, I almost, because I feel bad for him, I almost want him to go. <laughs> this video's taking a turn. It's not meant to be nasty. I, I don't mean it like that. I just wonder with Ben Rama if he would be better suited in a team that plays really good football, where he's the main man, where, where he's loved and where he's adored. I think he needs that. He's like, a, I bet he, he probably feels unwanted at West Ham in terms of, you know, I don't necessarily mean the fans, but in terms of him not getting into the team. And he probably, there's no, you know, he must feel unwanted for the manager and the senior player. I think Slomani's like 35 to to come out and criticise him on two separate incidents within the space of a week, you know, he must feel pretty unwanted there as well. So, uh, yeah, I, I just feel bad for him. I, I think I would I would like him to get a transfer. I'd like him to feel important. I don't know who it is. You know, I don't know, maybe just a really good football playing team. He was he was king of the hill in the championship, and I think he's better than championship. I think he's a really, really skillful player. I really do. But maybe, you know, as playing attacking midfield for one of the promoted clubs or, or something like that. I, I don't I don't know. Um anyway, I just, I just thought I'd put it out there. I just felt really bad for him. I thought he's coming for a lot of stick. He's come under the cosh, he's fallen from grace at West Ham. Um and there you go. Ult ultimately, ultimately I do think he's off at the end of the season. But you know what? What can you do? He's a good guy.